Welcome back buddies, I hope you are all ok. So this time around I am bringing you the browser. So in this video we will create our own browser that too in python. This will be a very simple code. I will have the intervals in the video and I will also put a source code link in the description from which you can create your own browser same as mine. So without wasting any time let's move on. Like a hell cut. <laughs> Um, I have opened the Visual Studio IDE here. You do not need to worry, you can use any ID that you want by charm, sublime text, any ID that you want. So, first of all, I'll open the file. Let me just navigate to the file. Um, here is the file, the main file. Okay, so in this, um, for this browser, we'll only use one main module that is the PyQt file. So, from that, we'll use the further components such as Qt Core, Qt Widgets, Qt Web Engine Widgets, and so on. So, PyQt5 is a binding that has um, a lot of you can search for the packages or methods that can be used to create GUIs and all that sort of stuff. This is a very um, popular library these days and it has a lot of implementation due to its ease of use. So as you can see there are different components such as Qt Core, Qt Widgets, Qt Web Engine Widgets. These all will be used to um, create GUI widgets and Web Engine widgets. So let's start. So first of all what we'll do is that we'll import the widgets. As you can see we have imported the sys sys um, from pyqt5.qt core we've imported all the methods similarly pyqt5.qt widgets we've imported all of them and pyqt5.qt web engine widgets will imported all of the methods um, as the name suggests and um, these are for the um, GUI such as Qt Web Engine widgets for the <coughs> in web, web related widgets. So let's move on. So here first of all we'll have to create a loop. So here is the main loop of the program. Um, first of all I've created a class named main window and it has a um, perimeter queue main window. Okay so first of all we'll need to um, initialize some things in the class for that I'm using the instructor underscore underscore init underscore underscore this is the method that is the constructor this is how we declare a constructor so within the constructor what I'm doing is that first of all I'm making a object of Q web engine view so this is just um, to get the functions of the web some functions of the web so basically Qt web engine widgets um, is a method that uh, is a method or class uh, you can say package that is based on um, Chrome Google Chrome and from that it uses similar kind of functionality and we can implement it in our applications so here in the um, constructor first of all what I've done is that first of all I have made a, um, an object named browser and then in the browser I've set a URL um, that is youtube.com so the idea is that I am setting the main URL or the home page on youtube.com you can set it to whatever you want because it will work on every URL any URL you want not only YouTube or Google any URL that you want you can put in anything your own website or anything so then um, what I'm done what I'm doing is that um, using the method send uh, set central widget so it is on the center and then maximized which means that the window will be maximized it will not be minimized so next we have to add the navigation bar so for that we have made uh, we're making a Q toolbar um, object named navbar and then we add it to the now from self dot add toolbar is just simply adding this toolbar to the application to the browser so the functions that we have are the back button forward button reload button and home button so for the back button what we have done is that using the q action class um, and the back um, the back method is, is we're giving an um, argument the back met, the back argument it is within the um, this q action class you can uh, you can see the documentation and all so we have created a back button and what back button do, uh, does is that when it triggered it is triggered so this is just the functions um, or the methods within this queue action so using this object we are just um, using the inbuilt functions to go back so uh, which means self.browser.back means uh, on the current browser we go back so simply um, the functionality of back and then the navigation bar in the navig so what we have to do is we, we have to once we have created the navigation bar or the toolbar we have to add the buttons onto that so onto the toolbar we have to add the back button that is done using this line so the forward button similarly the forward button is using is made using the same class um, q action 
but this time the argument is forward so this object uh, is made forward button and then using the object the similar uh, method is used but, the, uh, but this time around we are using the forward so we can go forward instead of backward and then we have to add this button onto our navigation bar which we are doing on this line then moving on we have the reload button and the reload button again using the queue action class and giving the input uh, giving the argument as reload we're making the reload button and again using that object um, of the queue action class um, using the methods the trigger dot connect method and what we are doing is that we are reloading the browser so as you can see browser dot reload and then adding the reload button to the navigation bar moving on now we have the home button home button will simply use uh, will simply be used to get to the home or the home website that we have given in this case it will be, be youtube.com so again using the queue action class and giving the argument home we are making the home button and again in the home button um, using the trigger dot connect methods um, what we are doing is self dot navigate home so this means that if within the current browser we will simply navigate to home in this case youtube.com that we have put in the start the url at the home page and then again we have to add that home button to our toolbar here in the line 43 that is we are going to do, uh, that we have done it is added it to the toolbar now we have to add the url bar in the url bar where we'll need to enter the url for example www.google.com or github.com or all that the url so simply uh, making an object q line edit and setting it to the another ob uh, setting it um, the name of the object is url bar and then what we are done is return press connect is navigate to the url so what this line is doing is that uh, whatever url we put in it is navigating to that url or just for example google.com and it will navigate to google and then on the nav bar we'll add widget url bar so url url bar is basically a widget and we are simply added, adding it to the toolbar so till now we have added the home button reload button back button forward button and url bar to the to the toolbar now what we have done is if the url is changed that is if um, it was written youtube.com in the start and now we want to change it and write google.com then this thing will be called so what it will do is that in the browser url change dot connect whatever the url is changed will connect to that one and we have given uh, we have given it an argument the update url which is the method that will be that i'll explain just afterwards so here are three functions navigate home so what function uh, so what this does is that i've used this function over here okay to get to the home so what it does is that it simply um, goes to the home so in this case we have set the home to youtube.com as i've told you before so using the browser.set url method we'll simply navigate to youtube.com so this means when we press the home button it will go to this website or this url whatever we put in here now navigate to url is when we change the url and then we navigate to that one for example in the in the url bar there is youtube.com written and we change it to google.com or github.com and then we press it so this method will be called here i've used it and what it uh, does is that it simply changes the text in that bar using this method and then sets the url to this one the url that we've changed and then that will be the url or the website that will be open and finally another function the final function um, update url so similarly what um, it, do, uh, it does is that it simply updates the url so using this line what we are doing is that in the url bar we'll simply set the text to whatever we are writing the new text so these are all the functions and methods um, that we'll use that we have used to make the browser so this is just simple code just very small code only about 60 lines you can see now running the browser is we have to um, create an object of q application um, name the object app and then just um, set application name browser by jp the name of the application that will appear and then we have created a main window on which on which it will open and then execute in which all of this will be executed this is the main window the class and here is the object of the class and then all of this will be executed so this is how you create a simple 
um, browser in Python in very few lines of code, just 65 lines of code. So here I've run the code and this is how um, you can run the code and see in the browser. So this is the browser and um, here you can see um, at the top is the URL bar and the net toolbar. It has the back function, forward, reload, home and the URL bar as I've explained where you can enter the URL. The home is your uh, the home is the YouTube as you can see the one, the one we said in the video. Now let's change and navigate to some other page. So let's erase YouTube and I'm going to write Instagram. So just type Instagram and then you can hit enter and see it it loaded to Instagram. Here it is just like the Instagram website. Now let's change it. I will change it to GitHub now. So type GitHub and just hit enter. So as you can see the github opens so this is uh, acting just like a browser so as you can also type anything else for example now what i will type is that um, let's go to you can say um, okay so let's go to www.stackoverflow.com so here i have typed that and hit enter as you can see the stack overflow website opens so you can open any website that you want any website that you want so i hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative for you um, you can like this video so i can keep on bringing you more content like this and you can also view my channel to see other videos other cool videos that i've done um, and also if you if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so i can bring you a lot more stuff thank you